Hi, welcome everyone. In today's tutorial, we are going to access the data from World Development Indicators, which is most common database for secondary data sets. And while uh, while uh, downloading the data, we will also make sure that it is already in a uh, in a method in a form that is easily usable for panel data analysis. So most of the students face problem that when they download the data. They need to do a transposing of the data or uh, setting up the columns so that it can be used as a panel data. So in this tutorial, I will guide you how to do it in one go. It will reduce your time of data management and uh, rather than selecting one country just to avoid the data management, you will go for a full full world data set. For that, we'll open the uh, Google Chrome and we'll search WDI. So it will open up World Data Bank. Uh, so because I open it regularly, it has opened automatically. Otherwise, you will open. It will go in Google, and then you will open up the first link. It will come to this page. Here, uh, here you can access the bulk data directly. But the problem with this data, it, it is not uh, already uh, arranged into uh, what you call it panel data format. So for that, we will go in Query Database. So I will open it up. It's a slow website, so be patient and wait for it to load. So in this platform, you will be able to see the preview output here, and country to you select options are here. Series you can select it from here, and time you can select it from here. So let it let it load, and then I will show you how to. The data. So it's ready. So first of all, what I will do is select all countries. You all need to make sure is go down and deselect some of the countries which are actually not the countries. They are group of countries. So you have to de deselect it from what you call it after Zimbabwe, so Arab world. You have to deselect all of these up till this world so that uh, they are not set of countries. So it should not be in your data set. Uh, so that it does not disturb your analysis. So I, I am removing two, but you have to do is deselect one by one all of these. So this way, the the countries which are not needed are removed from the data set. So I will remove few of them just to show how to remove them. So you will be able to see there are two sixty four countries. And now we have two forty six and two forty five. So I dropped it. Uh, cascade I, and then in series you have to select the variables that you want to select so I suppose if you want to select the GDP I will search GDP and then I will go down in G and I will select GDP constant US dollar so suppose this is my only variable that I needed so let's select one more so I will select CPI so in, in C you will be able to find consumer price index now two variables are selected. So in time periods, I will select all of the years from 1962 to 2019. So then press apply changes. Okay. Here you can see the in in columns there are years and in rows there are uh, variables. But in a panel data we need years as rows and variables as columns and country name should also come as rows so what we have to do is go in this layout option and then select custom and in this custom you change uh, time from column to row and series from row to column and country from page to row and move country on the top so let it load so when it happens when you apply changes, you will be able to see that it is now transformed into a format which is widely used by eViews, Stata, R and, and, and uh, other uh, software that uh, can estimate panel data. As you can see it's country name, years, country name, yes, so it, all the variables are down, down below. So since there are too many columns, uh, too many rows, so it's showing only few of them. So what you do is then go here and press CSV download. So when you press it, it will ask where to download it. 
so I will download it in my documents okay and then press save it will replace my already existing file when and you start download so when it is finished you can open the folder and uncompress it into a new folder so data uh, you will find the new folder in your downloads okay so let's see where it is data yes so here you will be able to see uh, panel data is downloaded today yes okay so when you open the data file you will be able to see the data is already in panel data format so you can do names years there is one extra column that you can remove and then data variables so for data you need to make sure that you have to remove this dot dot so how you can do it go and find and replace and say that replace the dot dots with empty all 19,574 values have been changed so when you close it so this is the data that you can use next thing you can use is that you can give appropriate name this way the data is usable thank you very much for watching do subscribe our channel and do share it to your colleagues thank you very much